Hello, my beautiful people. How are you? My friends, family, loved ones, and even people that I don't know that are on here. Hello. Good morning. So I'm just going to confess something to you guys that I piss a lot of people off. <laughs> and I just see that my daughter died. I piss a lot of people off with the truth because I'm a truth teller and I've always been a truth teller and I will never be anything other than a truth teller. But a lot of people are so damn afraid of the truth that they will do anything possible to make you wrong, to make that little tidbit of wisdom and universal knowledge untrue. They will attack your credibility. They'll get mad at you. They'll stop talking to you. They don't want to hear it. Here's the deal about the truth. We cannot move forward in life at all, period, zip, zero, zilch, never, nada. We cannot, cannot move forward in life if we don't adopt the truth. I've had people even try to say to me, well, that's your truth. Well, that's your truth. About things like, Yelling and name calling is destructive in a relationship. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not my truth. I am pretty sure that's universal knowledge. See what I'm saying? People want to discount it because they don't want to see it because it's going to attack their ego. And when that ego gets in a frenzy, it starts screaming and yelling and kicking and throwing forks at you. And then you're like, okay, okay, I won't look at that. I won't look at that. I had a girl, I had a girlfriend growing up, she's passed away now, and she was deaf, well, partially deaf. And she missed a lot of things. <clears throat> she didn't hear a lot of things. And if you ever said something to her that she didn't know, she would go, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. And she was so okay with not knowing things. She was so okay with the truth. And I remember watching her and thinking, she so owns that she doesn't know things, that she misses half the things because she doesn't hear them. And she's totally okay with that. A lot of times people feel stupid when you tell them the truth about a situation. They feel stupid. And then they get mad at you because they feel stupid. Or they stop talking to you because they feel, stu they feel stupid. I remember that at some point in my life, to be honest with you, I do. But now, what I do is if someone tells me something, I, I look at everything with fascination and wonder. Wow. Wow. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Wow. That's cool. Hmm. I'm going to think about that. Why are you dissing yourself because you don't know something? You don't know it. You haven't learned it yet. Why is that a slight on your character? Why does that make you a bad person or make you stupid or dumb? If you really, really, really want to move forward in this life, you got to get good with the truth. The truth about anything and everything. A lot of times people are afraid of the truth because it means they're going to have to act right now. Oh, hi. Oh, honey, that's so sweet. <laughs> people are afraid of the truth because you're good they're because they're going to have to act right now and they're just not ready and I've been not ready believe me I've been not ready there's been some serious crap that went on in my life and I was like oh my god oh my god I'm gonna have to deal with this I didn't ignore that it was happening though I didn't go okay yeah no that's not really happening that's not really happening no I said yeah I see that and oh shit <laughs> oh shit gonna figure this one out so if you hear the truth, know the truth, think about the truth, someone shares their truth with you, don't beat up the messenger. For gosh sakes, don't beat up the messenger. If someone loves you enough to tell you the truth, knowing that they're risking you getting mad at them, dudes, that's some serious love. Somebody loves you. Someone loves you. They want you to know. They think you don't know. But if you know, you can say, I'm aware of that. I do know that. And I'm, I'm working up the courage to handle that. I'm trying to find a solution for that. But thank you for loving me enough to tell me the truth. Stop shooting the messenger, peeps. One of the things as a coach that I had to get comfortable with 
is, is, I don't want to say pissing people off because none of my clients have ever been pissed off at me, but challenging people's egos <laughs> with the freaking truth. <laughs> yeah, no, you shouldn't be doing that. Uh, was that a good choice? What could you have done better? But let me tell you something, hands down, and then I'm just going to leave it at this. I'm going to hang up. I'm going to hang up the phone. The people that are open to the truth, they blow through their shit like this. The people that are not open to truth stay in a cyclical pattern like this. Wanting truth, wanting truth, wanting truth, but buffering. Nothing's changing. I'm inviting you to just get comfortable with truth. It's just truth. It's not going to hurt you. You're not going to lose a limb. I swear to God, you're not going to lose a limb. No one's going to get cancer. No one's going to die. It's just truth. It's just truth. It's just truth. Truth is freaking amazing. But also give yourself permission to know the truth, but not have to act on it right this exact minute because it's scary. Seek help. Ask people's advice. Go to a trusted advisor. But adopt truth as your truth. I'm going to be, I'm going to adopt truth as my truth. Yeah, I like that. That's a good way to end. Much love, everybody.